hello and welcome a cough in children could be of multiple types a wet cough or a moist cough indicates that there are secretions of phlegm inside the airways older children can bring out this while younger children tend to swallow the phlegm into the tummy now wet cough usually happens with viral infections it is transient and usually it goes away in 5 to 10 days as the viral infection tends to improve now on the other hand a wet cough which is persistent for a longer duration of time more than 2 to 4 weeks indicates an underlying problem but the most common cause of a wet cough in children which is persistent and prolonged is a bacterial bronchitis now in this situation the child's airways get infected with bacteria either haemophilus pneumococcus or moracella the child tends to keep on having a wet cough which is prolonged and this requires a prolonged course of antibiotics the other common cause of a wet cough in children is an upper airway cough syndrome where the child tends to produce a lot of mucus from the upper airways which tends to drip down from the throat and leads to a post nasal drip this happens because of either a nasal allergy allergic rhinitis or a sinusitis or an adenoid infection in some children the airways inside the lungs tend to get enlarged and infected and permanently damaged this condition is known as bronchiectasis and is a very important cause of a prolonged wet cough in this situation the child will have additional symptoms like breathlessness wheezing difficulty in breathing and might have blood in sputum Now most children with chronic wet cough do not require many investigations. On examining, we are able to make out whether this cough is from the chest because of a bacterial bronchitis, or is it actually because of an upper airway cough syndrome. Now in children who have bacterial bronchitis and who do not tend to improve with antibiotics, might require further investigations. they could be in the form of a ct scan of the chest which is required to assess the size of the airways and to assess the severity of bronchiectasis some children also require a bronchoscopy or examination of the airways from inside and we need to can uh, collect a sputum sample or secretions inside the airways which can later be sent to microbiology for analysis for bacteria viruses and tuberculosis the usual treatment for a wet cough depends upon the cause children who have bacterial bronchitis require a two weeks course of antibiotics the most commonly used antibiotics are either amoxicillin clavulanic acid combination or a third generation cephalosporin like ceftriaxone or septinib children with upper airway cough syndrome usually require long term intranasal corticosteroids and nasal saline irrigation children who have bronchiectasis require repeated courses of antibiotics and also require good physiotherapy for drainage of the secretions so in case your child is having a prolonged wet cough or a moist cough do get in touch with a child pulmonologist for further investigations and management thank you